dan. Dobar dan. Pričao sam upravo vama da ste najmlađi. Dobar dan. Hello, Tatjana Zlajkvić-Nikolić, UNDP. Dobar dan. You're visiting my front side. So you can have a better picture. Because now, you know, it's like two months after. And you cannot really see, you know, how people suffered and how, what amount of water it was uh, before. Mm. So it's 50 tablets before, but the other river repaired, the other uh, sewage system was often on the sewage system, and plus we are building the... Um, Digging right down yes. to where the sewer yes. is. Yes. And then a new one will be. To se seče, zida se šakta, stavlja se pokruba se do zgore. There is a top constructed on it and they can actually physically... So this is actually a cleaning section that you do when you say you do a mantle. It means you get a section into the sewer to get in. Pošto je cev dosta... Velika, mi ubacujemo ove sitnije ljude. Evo, već je pukao i to je posle popredljivanje tla, malo je on bio jedno već curi. So that, that's a bigger term project. Yes, that, uh, yes. Because, because, the 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 because the concrete will not hold for a very long time. Uh, and this is something that will have to be, you know, another investment. But we neka druga investicija koja će se se mi da dođe investicija. we don't really want it to be a long term or another investment. We would be pleased to have it right away. But at the cost of replacing that's quite a lot of money. How much is the cost of this? It's a million euros. Certainly not less than one million euros. But also it can be done in stages. Well, thank you to the Minister and the Mayor for coming with us to see the uh, situation here. Uh, clearly these have been absolutely devastating floods and talking to the local householders it, it's uh, not the first time there's been a series of, of incidents which speaks to the need for longer term disaster risk reduction uh, measures uh, but for now the key thing is to look after the immediate needs of the people with uh, the water, the sanitation, the alternative housing and so on. Dakle, zahvaljujem se najpre ministarki i predsjedniku opštine što su došli danas ovde sa nama da vidimo kakva je situacija ovde nakon katastrofalnih poplava koje su se desile. Također smo videli ovde sa nama su i vlasnici kuća, nekih od kuća koje su bile u najvećoj meri ugrožene i sve ovo što smo videli zapravo nam pokazuje da postoji potreba za dugoročnim sistemskim mrežama, za merama za smanjenje opasnosti od katastrofa, ali sa druge strane sada smo suočeni i sa onim što treba uraditi kratkoročno i odmah. I've come for myself to see uh, what's happened in the affected area before going to Brussels tomorrow for the donor conference, uh, the conference which will look at the uh, recovery needs assessment plan which Serbia has uh, prepared uh, and will, I hope, uh, bring some uh, international support for, for Serbia on top of what has already come. Ja lično sam došla u Srbiju sa ciljem da vidim direktno kako izgleda situacija pre nego što sutra krenem dalje za Brisel gde će se održavati međunarodna donatorska konferencija. Donatorska konferencija će razmatrati plan za oporavke od katastrofalnih poplava koje je vlada izradila i nadati se da će na osnovu toga uslediti i neka značajna međunarodna pomoć povrh onoga što je do sada već kao u kratkoročnom smislu pruženo. I'm, I'm very pleased that the UN resident coordinator in Belgrade was able to mobilise our team very quickly uh, and to prepare fast initial assessments and then the, the support the government of Serbia with the uh, recovery needs assessment, 
but also for UNDP to be able to get on with some basic recovery work like this uh, uh, water and, and sewage work that we're seeing. The, these basic services are so important for the health of the local people. Meni je veliko zadovoljstvo što sam se na terenu uverila u to da je rezidentni predstavnik i koordinator sistema Ujedinjenih nacija, odnosno koordinatorka sistema Ujedinjenih nacija u Srbiji bila u stanju da u vrlo kratkom roku mobiliše tim Ujedinjenih nacija koji je uradio inicijalnu procenu stanja nakon poplava, nakon čega je naravno usledila i dugoročnija procena potreba za oporabak od poplava, a umeđu vremenu naravno potrebno je brzo raditi i ovakve stvari kakve su ovde rađene u opštini na vodovodnom kanalizacijnom sistemu i sličnim potrebama. I think that the plan that Serbia is taking to Brussels tomorrow is a good plan, it's very precise, it says this is what happened, here's what the needs are going forward and uh, I, I really hope that there will be support uh, because this has been a, a very, very big event. Uh, a one in 100 year flood, I think. Uh, but uh, what I know from my own country is that these one in 100 year floods seem to come very often. Not one in 100 years, but, uh, but more often. And I think we're, we're looking at the future now with climate change and knowing that the level of resilience and disaster risk reduction to these events ha has to lift uh, much further than we ever imagined. Isto tako mislim da plan sa kojim Srbija sutra ide u Brisel je veoma dobar plan, veoma precizan koji vrlo jasno navodi šta se desilo, kakve su trenutne potrebe za oporavak i nadam se da će na osnovu tog plana kao odgovor doći i značajna podrška. Ono što se ovde desilo jeste velika katastrofa, jesu stogodišnje vode, ali iskustvo i zemlje iz koje ja dolazim, a to je Novi Zeland, mi govori da se te stogodišnje vode nekako javljaju mnogo češće nego u sto godina, a to nam opet ukazuje na potrebu da budemo svesni i aspekata klimatskih promjena, da budemo svesni koliko je potrebno izgraditi i ojačati otpornost država i društva, koliko je potrebno raditi na smanjenju rizika od katastrofa, tako da su to još neki aspekti u kojima je važno da razmišljamo. It was very critical for us to be here at this time in Serbia. Indeed, as the UNDP administrator has said, to see the devastation that took place and to hear it, in fact, from the people who were directly affected. Za nas je, kao što je administratorka UNDP kazala, bilo od kritičnog značaja da baš u ovom momentu dođemo u Srbiju da vidimo obim te katastrofalne štete koja je nastala i da o toj šteti čujemo i direktno od ljudi koji su njome bili najstrašnije pogođeni. We have been present in Serbia for decades now and we are very proud of the strong partnership that we have and this is indeed the time for us to expand this partnership and to look to the future, not only in immediate flood response but as you are also moving forward European integration. Decenijama je sistem Ujedinjenih nacija, odnosno UNDP, prisutan u Srbiji. Te decenije su proizvele snažne partnerske odnose između UN-a i države i mislim da je ovo moment također kada možemo to partnerstvo da proširimo i da razmišljamo o budućoj još snažnijoj saradnji. One of the forward-looking issues that we are very interested in in relation to resilience and building better is looking at regional approaches because a lot of the problems relating to climate change, relating to disaster risk reduction, disaster management, including management of water resources, river basins, are issues that can be handled in the sub-region in a way where the countries also coordinate among themselves. Posebno danas, budući da je sutra donatorska konferencija u Briselu, koja je veoma značajna za Srbiju, također želim da se zahvalim na svakoj vrsti pomoći koju ste davali prethodnih godina, jer mi smo radili na mnogo projekata, ali naravno i na ovom sada projektu kada smo procenjivali štetu i kada smo pravili plan upravo za donatorsku konferenciju i za sve ono što mora da se uradi u narednom periodu. Dakle, vlada Srbije, bez obzira koliko ova poplava nas zaista pogodila, ne samo finansijski i ekonomski, osjećat ćemo u godinama koje su ispred nas ozbiljne probleme u ekonomiji upravo 
zbog svega što smo doživjeli za mesec dana. Vlada Srbije je vrlo predeljena da ne samo popravi kuće izgradi nove, nego da zaista u svakom segmentu koji je pretrpeo štetu, tu štetu nađemo način i tu štetu nadoknadimo. Danas smo ovde, naravno zbog jednog projekta također koji radi UNDP i mislim da je to veoma značajno za građane ovog grada zbog toga što verujem da nakon toga neće biti restrikcija vode u toku noći. Ali isto tako mi ćemo sasvim sigurno u narednih nekoliko dana imati usvojen zakon o obnovi zemlje. To je, rekla bih, ključni dokument na osnovu čega i posle čega možemo da izbaćujemo novac o kojim smo pričali, onima dakle koji imaju oštećene kuće, ali isto tako i krenemo u izgradnju onih kuća koje su potpuno uništene. Ovde u ovom gradu pet kuće je potpuno uništeno. Ovde gde sad stojimo ispred ove kuće, u njoj ne može da se živi, takva je procena, prema tome je potrebno izgraditi novu. Bez obzira na zaista veliku solidarnost koja se osjeća sa svih strana, naravno da ljudi vremenom i zaborave kad se ovako nešto desi. Vlada Srbije nema nameru da zaboravi, mi ćemo praviti naše izveštaje svima nedeljno ako treba da i do onog trenutka dok ne budemo potpuno završili svaku vrstu popravke ili izgradnje kuće jer ljudi prezime će te kuće svoje imati a sve ono što se zove infrastruktura bit će popravljeno do 1. oktobra osim naravno energetike za koju ćemo kao što sam rekao će nekoliko puta morati da sačekaj. Želim pre svega da se zahvalim gospođi Clark na poseti kako Republici Srbiji tako i Smedrevskoj Palanci izvrtno je važna ta poseta ne samo u ekonomskom već i strateškom i u geopolitičkom smislu jer je opredeljenje Srbije putka put ka Evropskoj uniji. Smedreska palanka je pretrpela izuzetno veliku štetu, štetu od 900 miliona dinara, to je zaista nenadoknadiva šteta ako se budemo rukovodili samo obezbeđivanjem sredstava iz lokalnog budžeta, ali mnogo važnije od toga, od otklanjanja posljedica poplava, jer su u Smedreskoj palanci već pri kraju, imamo najveći problem da smestimo pet porodica čije su kuće uništeni, ne mogu živjeti, ne mogu više živjeti, u njima je dugotreno rešenje da bezbednije ti ljudi koji žive u ovom naselju gledaju budućnost jer je ovo već za 15 godina drugi put da im se dešava ovakva katastrofa protiv koje niko ne može da se izbori ni vlada ni lokalni organi tako da smo razgovarali u pravcu rešavanja problema u budućnosti kako se ovo više ovim ljudima ne bi dešavalo nadam se da ćemo nastaviti saradnju i nadam se da neće više gospodja Clark posjećivati Smedervsku palanku poput posle nekih katastrofa već da ćemo sarađivati na mnogo lepšim projektima i lepšim temama. Zahvaljujem se gospođi Zorani Mihajlović i vladi na pomoći koji su nam uputili. Zaista ovo je prvi put da se u Smedarijskoj palanci ne gledaju političke razlike, već su svi ljudi, bez obzira da li su se bavili nekim radom u vlasti ili opoziciji, udružili snage kako bi rešili probleme. Zahvaljujem se gospođi Zorani Mihajlović i gospodinu Gašiću i premijeru vlade Bojanu Pajtiću i predsedniku Tomislavu Nikoliću i kabinetu premijera Vučića, svi su nam zaista pomokli bez obzira na političke razlike. Mislim da smo, što se s tog aspekta tiče, iskoračili jedan korak napred i nadam se da će to i u budućem vremenskom periodu nastaviti tako. Inženjeri sa licencama i svi ovi drugi ljudi iz opštine Dakle, naravno da ne mogu isto da se tretiraju oni koji su popoljeni, ovi koji nisu. Dakle, ponovo će dolaziti komisija, baš zato da ne bismo pravili grešku slučajno, da se ne bi desilo da neko dobije, a neko ko treba ne dobije. Dakle, bit će sve i bit će javno, znat ćete. Pera Perić dobio, zbog toga i toga, ove nije dobio i tako dalje. Ja sam dete mi je bolesno unuče, koje sam morala momentalno da bilo kako sredim i uzela sam, kupila sam polovne stvari. I sad kad dođe komisija, aho vi imate stvari, ali ja sam sve do meni, gospodin predsjednik poslo, sve mi je izbačali iz kući i oteran. Ali sam kupila dve, tri stvari, polovne. Ali predsjednik zna i znate, normalno da vi ovdje si bolje znate od svih nas koji dođemo sa strane, ali tako je? Mislim da za to ne treba da prijete. I ne možete krenuti kući po kućama, ne možete uopšte, nećete. Ne možete, idemo, 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 hvala vam, hvala vam. And where was the owner when the water went through? Was he on the roof? Where were you when the water went through? Was he on the roof? No, I was at 12 hours maximum. 
Tune sam bio do 12 sati noći. So, he was da. here until midnight, he was waiting. Da, do 12 sati, to, kad je već to, voda do ovdje. To see what will by that time, yeah. the water was above his waist. Oh. So he just stayed and uh, anticipated ovo, what would happen. Ovo se vamo srušio, ovo je bila malo napukala. This building sad. here, in fact, collapsed. So collapsed. There were cracks and it uh, collapsed. This one. Tuari, to nema it's ništa sve to. Damaged, of course, everything inside, evo, pa, all the furniture, uh, all the fittings. Uh, it all had to be disposed yeah. of, and yeah. much of it is uh, outside by the fence. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. rubbish. And what what is the plan for his house now? Kako sada izgleda planovi za vašu kuću? Ništa, ne znam, to je na lokalu. Dakle, sada će to zavisiti od novog zakona koji se usvaja i onda će se vidjeti način kako će i vada primjeti kako srušeno. Kako da će svakako biti pomoć za takve kao i za vas da se kuća naravno pre nove kišne sezone da se osposobe uslovi za vas. Drugo avgusta već počinje kad počinje da grmi onda znamo već. Because beginning of August already the first thunders you know we hear and so on and that's when we start to fear the rainy season. So is the gentleman living here at the moment or is he shifted somewhere else? Jel vi trenutno živite ovdje ili ste se prisali? Ne, ne, nisam tu, ne sam... No, he is here. Tu sam kako znam... So he is managing whichever way he can, but he is here, he hasn't moved. Has he got water? Imate li vodu? Da, da, da. Inoče? Da, da, ima. Inoče, nema restrikcije. Ima, ima neki put odade zbog... Ili sa planom, velikom planom koristimo ovdje planom. It does happen sometimes to shortages, but then we have this with another planom, which is another another municipality we have regional. Trust me. Hello. My name is Miloš. Nice to meet you. Hello, hello, hello. Don't learn this in English. Mother's English teacher. Yes, yes, we can speak in English. She taught you. Yeah, it's a natural thing. She's a mother in school English. Yeah. Her, uh, she, she was teaching uh, our president <laughs> community a little bit, okay. so he 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 is okay, okay now. So he needs more lessons from your mother. This is my older son. How do you do? Hi. Hi. Uh, okay. Say your name. Uh, I'm, I am Dimitri. Dimitri. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And Tadia, Tadia, where is Tadia? That is, uh, you know. Yeah. So you've had a very, very bad experience. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is, uh, uh, um, as I know, uh, fourth big flood. Yeah. Uh, I mean third big flood uh, back in uh, 81. It was a little bit yeah. down to, to the ankles. Uh, but uh, some uh, older uh, people say uh, it was uh, some big flood in, uh, I think, 1965 or 56. Uh, then in 99 and mm. this one so mm. third big flood and fourth flood for this house yeah yeah uh, it could not stand it no no unfortunately so it's been right through your bottom floor. yeah yeah it was yeah. Uh, uh, back in 99 it was uh, like this in house yeah and this year it was like this yeah little bit yeah. lower but <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter yeah. 20 or 30 centimet centimeters it's and where were you through the flood were you upstairs uh, yes uh, my brother my uh, sister-in-law his wife mm -hmm. and I were upstairs there because uh, it was uh, some uh, possible danger of, of stealing and of course looting yeah yeah we yeah. had to stay here yeah yeah so and uh, I assume all sorts of horrible stuff came into yeah. your place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we lost almost everything, but some th some things we we managed to Get take. Up. Yes, yeah. take up some, some yeah. but not everything, yeah. Yeah. because uh, you know you always hope it won't happen. <laughs> no, uh, but no. it happened. How much warning was there of the heavy rain? It was. You warnings. got warning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, for the. Um, uh, for this time, it was much better than, okay. than the last time, okay. uh, in every possible yeah. way. Yeah. In yeah. Uh, help uh, from community, in help from uh, yeah. people around, uh, yeah. friends, uh, cousins. Yeah. It was much, much, much better than... So, in so f sort of early warning and first response yes. worked, yes. but still the water came. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it, uh, maybe we are a little bit... Uh, we, we were... You know, we were hoping it won't it won't yeah. happen. Yeah. So we were 
you know, I will pick up this one and this one. I hope it won't be so high, yeah. you know. Yeah. But it was very high. unfortunate. Yeah. So what's what's the future of your house here? Uh, we are uh, mm, told that we should not live here because uh, that uh, back side. back that back yeah. uh, side of house is about five or ten centimeters gone out. Uh, so so uh, it, it is much expens uh, much more expensive to to uh, fix yes to fix than to build the, yeah. the new one. Yeah.